Hi, I'm uh, George Diffley. George is my brother. We're very close. My name's Kip. I'm George's best friend since we were kids. About myself, yeah, I am an artist, but something tells me that's not why you're here. Please elaborate on what transpired five years ago today. Yeah, five years ago today was the day that I was abducted. George was there, and he wasn't there. He actually didn't start drawing until he got back, until five years ago. I felt like I was home for the first time in my life. I was abducted. <laughs> Thinking about it now makes me happy, you know? Some people, you see it in the movies, people are depressed, they're sad, oh, they probed me. It was the best day of my life. I thought it was pretty wild, I thought I was seeing things, but I was on mushrooms that day, all day. Do you mind not smoking weed in here? I was fucking there, man. I've got nothing to gain from lies. I've been punished coming back here. Uh, people that say that it was awful, they're looking for fame. They're looking for glory, they're looking for attention. I just want to go back. It's hard because he's my brother and I love him and it's hard to see him so withdrawn. I've never felt more alone in my entire life. There's a part of me that just wishes that they'd come back for me. Would you consider yourself a, a changed man now? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say I'm changed. Since I did go up there, it wasn't just my attitude that changed. I mean, I'm still the same person. Kind of. Yeah, he lays eggs. He doesn't really like to talk about it, but I mean, it's no secret anymore. Because it did become a bit of an issue. Isn't that a funny word though, man? Eggs. Did somebody just say eggs? I was told I wouldn't have to talk about eggs when I came on the show. Yes. When, you know, when did that change? And then he begins this nesting process. He incubates them, he buries them. Yeah. They're delicious. There is an emptiness that I've felt since I've been back on this planet. I can't see them, but I can feel them. They're watching me. There's a piece of me still up there. A piece of me that's missing. People probably think I'm crazy. Maybe I am fucking crazy. And these tests that they ran on you, were any of them sexual in nature? There was nothing sexual about any of it. You ever just have the best day of your life? That's what I could say about five years ago today. I saw an egg-based culture living in perfect harmony. Can you lay an egg for me now? No. No, I can't. You can't, or you won't? Both. You don't have a clue, do you? Thank you for your time today, George. 